Hey, what's up guys? Gino here, and today I'll be showing you a really cool program for your via Skype or whatever you want to call it. And basically what this program does is allows you to change your voice and mess with a whole bunch of different little tools over here that this program provides. Now, the website is called clownfish.translator or clownfish slash translator, but you don't have to worry about that. The link will be down in the descript uh, description below, excuse me. And once you get to this website right here, Simply go to the download um, tab right here and just press download right here. It's for Windows 98, 1000, XP, and Windows 7, and Vista. So just press download now. I'm just going to download it again because I'm pretty sure there's an update. So now that is downloading down here, you can go back to home or help and all these tabs up here and just basically read about the program if you want. As you see right here is text to speech. So you say something and it comes out. And like messages or whatever, you could change your name to a robot, um, like that right there. Record voice calls when you call somebody in the phone, or whatever. On Skype, your voice changer, change your name to a lot of different kind of cool effects. Like you could have, you could add echoes to it and a whole bunch of random kind of stuff here. Another thing that's pretty cool is the music player. You can basically put music in the background when you're talking of your conversation on Skype. So that's a pretty cool thing you could do. Alright, so once you download it, just open up your download thing or whatever you downloaded it to. Um, let me just find it real fast. And here it is. So just run the setup. Just double click on it. And press yes for this. And then just keep pressing next. Um, yeah, if you want any shortcut menus, just do that. I'm just going to put both of them. And let it install. It should install really, really fast. And just press um, done or finished. And let it finish the last part. And right now, it's just basically installing it to your program files, and it should be done in less than a minute. Once that's done, press next, and then press finish. And then simply, it should be down here in your little thing over here. But first, you need to open the program up. So let's just type it in clownfish. So let's see. Clownfish, right here. So as you see right here, it says clownfish. You could press open. And then once you press open, as you see down here, a little icon comes up. You can press it or right click it and here's all the different things you can do with it. Um, the voice changes right here. You can hear your own voice, hear music in the background, sound effects like echoes and stuff. Your voice, um, a whole bunch of different ones. A lot of these don't work, but just use the hear voice tab and you can see which one you like. Um, music, you can add music in your background. That's pretty cool. VST effects. I'm not that sure what this does. Um, use of avatar. This is like when your friends message you. Like a big avatar pops up over here of their um, message that they sent you. That's a pretty cool thing as well. Fun and art message. I'll show you later. Greetings. I'll show you later. Preferences. You can set which one you want. And it's basically mess with all these translators or different little things up here. And once you download it and open it up, it should pop up on Skype. So as you see right here, clownfish allow to allow to use or whatever allow access, and if that don't pop up, just go to tools, options, and go to advanced, manage other programs access to Skype, and make sure it's enabled. So once that's done, press OK, and press save, and then basically you're done. Now you can just call somebody, and then when you're on the call with them, open this Skype this thing up right here, just right click it. Go to voice changer and then change your voice while you're in the call because that's the only way it will work. You can disable it from up here, and yes, you can just mess with all the settings when you're in the call. Um, fun and art is a pretty cool thing I discovered today actually. It just was in the updated version. This is just all random things you could send your friends, like in messages over here. So let's say if I wanted to send them um, some boobs, just copy all this right here, and then or you could just press send, but just click the box and then press send. Or you can just come over here and copy and paste it. Now you see it looks like boobs. It looks pretty cool. Basically what this thing did, did or whatever you want to say is use all these little smiley things over here and created that. Now if you want to do another one you can. Just right click it and it should open right here. You could do um, I love sex and just highlight everything. Come over here and paste it and press enter. And as you see, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so that's one thing you can do. Um, another thing, you can just exit that out when you're done. Open it back up. 
And another thing you could do is greetings. Um, you could send random greetings to your friends, like automatically. So as you see, these are all the random greetings on your birthday. Send whatever. As you see right here, it shows you. Like it basically sends them a little message that may believe you send it, whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You could just explore the whole program yourself. Um, see what you want to find. See what you want, basically. And I just see this right here. This is the F you want I sent to this guy, some random guy. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about this program or you want me to do a review more deeply into it and about the other tools this program provides, just send me a message and I'll be glad to. And if the download link or the link that on the bottom doesn't work, just simply go to google.com and type in clownfish for Skype and it should pop up. But I'll still, this link should work, so I'll have it in the description below so you guys can download it. Alright, but until next time, see you guys real soon. Peace out.